you ever had something crazy happen to you? Like, you can't even put it into words, right? But, like, something crazy in, like, a spiritual sense. Like, you feel like you're that much connected with God, right? And this is why I always say I could never, ever be an atheist. No matter how much bad shit happens to me, there's also a lot of good things that happen to me. And in a lot of ways, I'm blessed, right? But, um, so... A little while ago, I'm, I'm here at work. I got a lot of downtime, downtime at work, right? And I'm watching a lot of um, uh, positive YouTube videos, right? And, you know, I got a little emotional, you know, <laughs> but I'm watching some positive YouTube videos. And um, as some of you guys may know, you know, from New York, New York City, born and raised, right? So um, I was watching, uh, oh, man, I forgot, I forgot this YouTuber's name. But anyway, he's a popular YouTuber, and he was doing some uh, a combination of both pranks and also um, some social experiments to see how New Yorkers would react, right? And um, one of his videos, it just, uh, it was just so much joy, so much positive vibes, right? And uh, I love it when New Yorkers can come together because I don't know if you guys have ever been to New York, but... Most New Yorkers, they're not friendly people. They're not, right? But when you when you see wholesome videos of New Yorkers um, coming along and getting together and showing nothing but love, right? Oh man, it just it's a it's just a beautiful. It's something you don't see every day, especially in New York, right? But it's just a, it's a beautiful moment. I love seeing it. I love seeing. People in general, I don't, it doesn't matter what city, what state, what country you're from, but I love seeing people in general showing nothing but love towards one another, right? That's how it should be. That's how it should be. So, anywho, like I said, I'm at work. I have a lot of downtime right now, so I'm making this video. And I said, you know what? Let me let me put in my two cents. Let me, let me make a positive video, right? Um, and... I went back to my very, very first YouTube video, which was nearly a year ago, 10 months ago, right? Tell me why I'm wearing the same exact hoodie that I'm wearing right now. What are the odds of that, right? And that video is titled, my very first YouTube video is titled, God is Love, right? So here I am, I'm making a part two nearly a year later. Right? Ten months later, I'm making a part two to that video. Um, and everything that happened to me right, in my entire life, especially this past year, um, made me realize that God it really is love. He really is. And he's looking out for me. He's looking out for a lot of people, right? Um, <clears throat> now, I mainly make videos for the ex-Jehovah's Witness community, right? That mainly. I also make a few videos for people that suffer with depression, um, anxiety, and other other um, mental health il illnesses, right? But I mainly make videos for um, ex Jehovah's Witnesses, right? But um, yeah, like I said, the title of this video is uh, "God Is Love," you know, part two, part two. Um, I feel like with me lately, uh, yeah, especially lately, lately, right? You guys know I lost my family. I lost uh, a bunch of Jehovah's Witness friends, right? Um, and I've kind of been looking for someone to replace that love, right? Or something to replace. Because I lost my family, right? So I'm kind of looking for something to to take that, to fill in that void, right? And <clears throat> I feel like God was telling me this year, you know what? Don't rely on people. People will let you down. People suck. As you guys know, people suck, right? There's two people in this world that, that will never let you down. Myself, right? And also God. So I feel like God was bringing me closer. And God, he told me, listen, you're going to lose your, you know, you lost your family and friends. Your Jehovah, sorry. You lost your Jehovah Witness family and you lost fake friends, Right? But more importantly, they lost you. They lost me. I didn't lose them. They lost me. Because my love is unconditional. People that have known me for 10, 15, 20 plus years, they know that when I love somebody, I truly love them. 
And I'm there for them 100%. Yes, I'm imperfect. I make mistakes. You know, I have toxic traits just like everybody else, right? But people that know me know that I'm a loyal, legit, down-to-earth person, friend, lover. Like I said, when I love, I love 100%, right? So God was telling me, listen, my love for you is greater than uh, the love that your family has for you, right? That fake conditional love. It's greater than the love that your Jehovah Witness friends that you know for 20 plus years, right? God is love. Now, if there's one thing that I've learned since leaving this Jehovah's Witness cult, right? Because everyone, people who left the cult, they know that it's not a loving, it's not a loving organization at all. It's fake conditional love. The minute you don't agree with what they say, you're you're done with, right? That's not love. That's not love at all, right? You should be able to. You should be able to express your doubts, and have true, genuine love. I mean, sorry, true. Um, you should be able to be honest, right? And be true to yourself. You should be be able. You should be able to be authentic. And people should still be able to love you regardless, right? You can't do that in the Jehovah Witness religion. You cannot do that. Like I said, it's either their way or the highway, right? So, I, I've, once I left this religion, I, I promised myself I would never join any other religion ever again. I'm done with religion. All religion is man-made. It's all false, right? And it divides and separates people. Now, keep in mind, if God is love, right? I believe that God loves everybody. God sees the good in everybody. Jehovah Witnesses, they don't do that. They don't see the good in everybody. They only see the good in their own fellow companions that's in the same religion. That's bullshit, right? There's, there's 8 billion people on this planet, and they only choose to associate and love 8 million people. That's bullshit right there. That's bullshit. God is love, which means that God loves everybody. He sees good in everybody, which means that I, I'm making it a goal to see the good in everybody. I'm making it a goal to love everybody, right? Now, growing up as a witness, we were taught to, uh, we, we was taught that uh, homosexuality is frowned upon, right? And I had that ingrained in me. And anytime I saw anyone that was homosexual, I, I refrained from them, right? I kept them distant from them because I was taught that that was uh, a horrible sin against God, right? Being being homosexual. But since I left this religion, I've been so open-minded. I've even befriended some homosexual friends, right? People that left the Jehovah's Witness organization and they came out as homosexual, right? And you know what? I respect that because I said to myself, these are some good-hearted people. If God sees the good in them, then guess what? I could do the same thing. I'm happy I was able to let down that barrier. And I'm, I, I just, as of right now, I see people for who they are, right? I accept them for who they are, not for who I want them to be. And for the first time in my life, right, I'm starting to see why, you know, because I made some videos uh, a few, um, I think last month I made a video about um, rejection and abandonment issues. You know, my, I, have my, I have my own personal issues. And <clears throat> I'm starting to realize why I've kept, why I've been rejected over and over and over, right? Because God was telling me, you know what? Maybe I wasn't born in this earth to be loved. Maybe my purpose on this world, in this earth, on this planet, maybe my purpose is to give love, right? The Bible says it's better to give than receive. Now, I've always been a person who's, been too giving, right? Which is good and bad, right? But I, I love to, when, when I love people, when I care about somebody, I love to give. I love to sh shower them and show them love and affection, right? But in today's day and age, people tend to abuse those type of people, right? Unfortunately. Not everybody. I'm not generalizing it. I'm not saying that. But a lot of people, when you're too nice, you're too friendly, you're too giving, you're too loving, people see that, see that as a sign of weakness, and they tend to abuse that, right? And unfortunately, I realized that 
I have been let down. I have been hurt way, way too often. Way too often. And I'm starting to realize that, like I said, maybe I was put on this earth to give love and not necessarily receive it, right? And for the first time in a while, I, I'm okay with that. I accept that. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is, right? And you can't grow, you can't go wrong when you give, right? When you give love to people, even if they do you dirty, right? That is bad karma that's going to come around to hunt them, right? Let God take care of them. But, you know, you do your part and you continue to show love to everybody, right? So that's my chapter as we enter into the year 2024. Um... I want to focus on being more open-minded, being more God-like, right? And keeping in mind that God loves and accepts everybody for who they are, right? And I want to keep that in my forefront. I want to keep that in my forefront, that God is love, right? And I always want to mimic God. I never want to be in any religion ever again. Like I said, I'm done with religion, but I will, I will always be a spiritual person, right? I will always believe in a higher creator, a higher being, and God, Jesus, right? I, I, I will always believe in a higher power, always. Always, because like I said, God has always blessed me. He's always looked out for me. I lost my family this year, right? I lost people that, that I thought would be in my life forever, right? That's, they, they, they decided to leave, right? They decided to shun me over religion, right? But God has given me something greater. I have true, genuine, down-to-earth friends. I have people that love me for who I am, right? And I'm blessed for that. I am blessed for that. So anyone who's watching this video, I, I want to let you guys know that I love you. You know, you may not even you may not know me personally, right? And you don't have to, but just know that I love you, and I know that everyone is struggling. We're all going through something, some trials and tribulations. I know times are hard, right? Times are hard, but um. Just know that you are not alone, right? Know that God loves you, and know that I love you. All right, guys. I'll see you. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.